today's video of Owen's Toy Garage. Earlier today, we went to Nico Jen's house which is also known as Dan Batman from Instagram. He has over 20,000 followers on Instagram and also has been in a video with me and Supercar Blondie which are two very famous Supercar YouTubers. We came to his house to interview him do a review and also compare all his cars one by one to see which one is the best. So without further ado, let's hop in right to the video. Enjoy! So first off, we made an introduction of showing all his supercars in his garage. And it went like this. After that, we reviewed all his cars one by one, from the front of the part, to the engine, and to the inside of the car. So this is the Lamborghini, okay, LP670 SV. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we call the Ferrari GTC4 Bristol. Okay, so this one is McLaren 720S. This is a Porsche 981 Spider. We made 186 of them. Okay, so what are the special things about this, this car? It's obviously got the special uh, S S V its big body here. So it's got the lower front spoiler unique to the car. It's got the carbon brakes. It's there. And so this is S V. The S V stands for Super Veloce. And then here you've got the carbon high, high downforce big wing here. Carbon rear diffuser, carbon engine bay, six and a half litre V12, naturally aspirated. Here you go. So this is they call like you know like scissor doors. So it goes straight up. Okay. So it's full. It's got a lot of carbon in the car, so carbon door seals, you know, carbon on the steering wheel, bucket seats, the bucket seats has got this unique pattern. Yeah. Okay, with suede, it's got suede, it's suede all around to carbon. It uses paddles, Iggy. Alright, like that. So this is to go up, and the left hand side is to go down. You can see the speedo is up to 360 k's. And uh, over there, and the buttons in the middle, you know, so they're like traction control courses, like a sports mode. So this is the engine cover. So the engine bay is, is at the back because it's a rear engine. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So it's a six and a half liter V12. I'm not sure if you can see it there. It says the order of fi the firing of the engine of the 12 cylinders. So it says 174. So that's the order that the cylinders start because it's a 12 cylinder engine. 2018 model. Okay. Then it's got a, B it's got a B12 engine, 6.3 litre. It's got the carbon brakes as well, just like the, the you know, Lambo. Famous, you know, Ferrari Scuderia Shields. Yeah. And then see the options got carbon on the outside. Right? It's actually a hatchback. So it's not like you know the yeah. other sports cars. Right? It's, got, it's got a big boot. You can still take your groceries and shopping. Okay. And this one's got a very, very special interior. It's called Bordeaux half leather 
and then half suede. But look at how much room there is. Look, go in the, sit in the back, sit in the back. Okay, look at that. It's a real four seater. Yeah. Okay, but can you have a look up? What do you see up? Oh, all glass. Yes, panoramic glass. Very, very unique feature about this. It's a forty thousand dollar option, but I think with a car like this, you need to get it. All right. So this steering wheel is a lot more, a lot more special than the Lambo. So your engine start button. All right. This button here is for the suspension to make it soft. This is for the different modes. You know for wet, comfort, sport. So wet is obviously when it's very, very wet, so you have more traction on. Control and comfort, suspension softer, not full power. Then you got sport. Stiffer suspension, faster gear shifts. So Ferrari's design is for it to be like the F1 car. So you don't take your hands off the steering wheel for, work, for, for everything. So you got indicators here so that when you rev the car it'll be it'll light up just like the f1 car so that the more lights the higher the revs so with the gtc4 lusso it's got the big screen in the middle for infotainment so you can have your car play and everything like that um, but yeah it's a very comfortable car and you can sit four but it's still a Ferrari, meaning that it has a big engine. Let's have a look at the engine. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! It looks amazing. So this is a 6.3 litre V12 and it's four wheel drive. It's a 28, it's a 2018 model. Um, it's got a lot of options from MSO, which stands for McLaren Special Operations. Okay. So it's got this special color, it's called a Bispra, which is black when there's no sun, and when there's sun, it's like a blue bit, it's like a bluish purple. Um, this car's got a lot of carbon. So, out of all the cars, this is the fastest car. So, from factory, it makes around 720 horsepower. Yeah. And I've had this tuned, it makes it get over 900. 900 horsepower okay, and it does the quarter mile in under 10 seconds so it's got factory carbon everywhere this is this is a uh, voice diner aero kit you, you know it looks like a spaceship this car you don't notice it, when you look from the side it looks like it, you know the doors it, you know it's only one skin but it's actually a double skin so it's got one door there it's like a panel there and then there's another panel here so this is for the is for the air for the wind come through and then feed it to the, the engine bay. So we even got aero here. This one's got a rear spoiler air dynamic. So when we turn on the car, this will come up or for aero. So when you're going fast and you want fast acceleration, you want it to be the air to be clean. So you want it to be flat. But when you want to brake, this wing goes up and pushes the car down and helps you brake. Yeah. Even this is in carbon. The engine is here. Can't really see jump Four liter. Yeah. Have to go here. What, what I'll do here, yeah. I'll put the key out. So this is the key. Okay, the McLaren key. Okay, so, got the, so this one's got the Batman plates, as you can see. Yes. Yeah. You know, the Batman plate. See that? Cool, eh? Yeah. That's the heart of the beast. 4 litre V8 twin turbo. So it's got lots of, lots of air here. Lots of air because it makes a lot of power and needs to cool down. Press it. Yep. So look at the scissor door. So Lambo, the doors go up like this. This one includes the roof. So when you go to track mode, you have this screen. Okay. okay, this screen is just so that you can focus on driving and it only has the speed and the revs. Whereas normal driving, 
you have all that information. That's where the main infotainment is. So this car, the, spe the other special things is, it's a full carbon tub. So all of this is actually made out of carbon. Carbon. So all this whole chassis of carbon, um, is it made out of carbon? It's stronger and it's lighter than, than all the other cars. So this one's made from obviously McLaren. It's made in Surrey, England. Only a thousand of them were made, and only 25 in Australia, manual only. Uh, this is a 2016 model, so this is like the GT3 version, uh, made from out of the box style chassis. So yeah, manual only. The unique thing about this is the is, 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 is the roof. Uh, it's manual, but it's supposed to get fuel from the back here. It's like a double, they got a double bubble. Double brakes, it's a 3.4 litre engine, six, six cylinder. We also saw and hear on what his supercars would sound like, and it was really loud. Note, beware, you are about to hear the full, very loud sound of a car. If you are using headphones, please lower down the volume. Thank you. Lastly, we did the long interview of asking him questions about his life and his supercars. Okay, so first question is, um, how could you be able to afford all of these supercars? Uh, I'm in property development, so I build apartments, shops, hotels. So that's my business. Yeah, so I've been very fortunate that um, my property business is done well and I enjoy um, cars as my hobby. Oh, what makes you uh, like uh, t these kind of types of supercars? I've had a lot, I've had a lot more um, and over the time you kind of, um, there's different, you, you know, cars that you like over the time. Um, like my first car was a RAV4, he had a RAV4. Then I've had BMW M3, um, you know, Lamborghini, you know, Lamborghini Gallardo, then Mercer Lago LP640, then this is my third, I mean this is my fourth Lambo, but my third Mercer Lago. Um, I suppose it's, yeah, diff at different times in your life you just um, like different, you know, just your, 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 you know, your taste changes. Like now, I do like more comfortable cars. So, you, you know, the, the GTC is a very comfortable car. The McLaren's comfortable, but super quick. And um, I haven't got a convertible, so that's why I got the Spider. And I wanted a manual again. Um, the, you know, the NSX and my other Q Q8 is, you can't, is not here at the moment. But uh, yeah, I enjoy cars that are unique. Do you like uh, often drive your supercars uh, all the time? Uh, I try to every weekend. I try to drive one. Um, this one I'll probably drive more. I can drive this to the office. 
I sometimes I drive a McLaren to the office. This one I won't drive to the office. Um, but uh, yeah, quite often, as okay. much as I can. There's a lot of people like to ask uh, you about your uh, cars. Of course, yeah. Petrol station. Sometimes when you just park on the street, like today, somebody just asks, "What color is that? What model is it?" Great. It's good to you know to share your passion to with other people. Okay, next question. Um, would you ever ever sell or trade your cars for something else? Um, I won't sell this car. I don't think I'll sell this car. These two cars are collectibles. My NSFs, I probably won't sell. Um, so, out of the current cars I have, these three are probably the cars I won't sell. This one I'll probably sell in two years, less than two years' time. And this one I'll be selling probably before the end of the year because I've got something very special coming. From out of all these cars you have, which one is your favorite? Any favorite. If I could only have one car that I could drive everywhere, <coughs> still be fast and everything, I still say the McLaren's the best all-rounder. Yeah, so the McLaren is comfortable, it looks great, you know, easy to drive, but if you wanted to drive fast, it is the quickest thing. Uh, last question. Do you have any advice for other people that are about to have supercars or facing this time of COVID-19? I think, you know, with COVID-19, you appreciate um, family, um, you know, spending time with family, but you also realize all the hard work that you've made before is to share it with family, but also the passion that you have with, you know, um, or whatever it is with your hobby, I think there's, there's, a, there's much more appreciation to enjoy it because this is why you work hard for it. But in saying that, it is very, very hard times for a lot of people and it's for a lot of people who've lost their jobs, um, you know, it's very, very unfortunate for them. But a lot of the people that I know on Instagram, I, I, I am sensitive to kind of drive nice cars while people maybe have lost their jobs and um, you know doing it tough but they've they've told me you know we love seeing you enjoy your passion we love you you know sharing your stories and posting so i think that th this hobby cars supercars brings people together having a day in isolation and these cars inspired them to work hard and that's what I felt many years ago and for a lot of people now they, they, it, it may not happen straight away but just believe in yourself, work hard, stay around with people and share supercars Okay, thank you very much. So after looking and reviewing about all those cars, in my opinion, my favorite car is the McLaren 720S. It's because it is the fastest car out of all of them and in my opinion, it has the best shape. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it and thank you Uncle Nico for helping us make this video by helping us review your cars and doing the interview. Please subscribe, leave a like, and comment on which one is your favorite car. If you want to see Dan Batman's Instagram, it's linked in the description down below. Until next time, bye!